Hi Leo, Narai here, gonna do a reading for you guys. I've already put on my Destroy Everything cologne. I am doing this instead of Florida water. It smells amazing, let me put some more on. I'm smelling it for you, it's delish. Ugh. So this is gonna be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South node. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest. We are going to do a tarot reading. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South Node. Spirit, please let me know what messages you may have for Leo. Please and thank you. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay, this is starting off way too good. One moment. What's next? The Lovers. Two of Cups. All right. So what I have. I'm just going to do it like this. All right. So what I have is the four of wands. This is celebrating. This is stability. This is actually... It can actually be a marriage card, believe it or not, which is perfect, Leo, because of the fact that what's right after is the Ten of Pentacles. This is like you and somebody coming together, or maybe you finally having the stability that you want in your life and you're wanting to have someone to share it with. And you want the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is two individuals At least as far as me, when I do tarot, I look at the Ten of Pentacles as a person that is working towards stability. And they're not just stable by themselves. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody stable by herself or his self. Self-sufficient, financially reliable, not needing anyone else to help. And then when they find someone else, that's like that there's an offer and it could be a, t a tangible get uh, a tangible something tangible the ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles and the nine of pentacles is the ten of pentacles so this makes me think that you guys are stable you're wanting the ten of pentacles you're wanting to have that long-term security you're wanting that abundance you're wanting to leave a legacy for for some of you you're wanting to have that person that you can travel the world with and experience life with spend your money with but you guys are in this energy right now and you may have had an epiphany with the ace of swords you may have actually had a realization and seen some things from different perspectives finally in regards to a situation that you may have felt um, was a loss. You may have felt like there was a missed opportunity, but I feel that you guys may actually be realizing that in ending with somebody, because I have the tower at the bottom here, that the ending with somebody was actually a blessing and it was a new beginning for you in another aspect of your life so we have the tower card what's next spirit yeah somebody you moved away from you had to move on to calmer waters from someone i think you're having an epiphany that that happened it didn't happen to you Leo, it happened for you. Oh my gosh, I can't even make this up. The bottom of the deck. The devil card. Person was freaking toxic. And I just dropped a card. One moment. Crap. 
the seven of pentacles the seven of pentacles is a card where you guys know that something worth having takes time things can be hard work but this is you putting in the effort knowing that there are seeds that need to be planted there's nurturing that needs to be done there's watering there's sunlight required and that things will grow i feel like a lot of you could have leo been in a situation where you were dealing with somebody toxic two more cards spirit two more cards for leo please and thank you So I have the Ace of Cups. This is you guys focusing on self-love. Or that could be a new relationship coming towards you. And what are these? Yep. Hmm. This could be an emotional offer or a new emotional beginning. So what that makes me think is it makes me think that there, you're focused on self-love and a new emotional offer may be coming to you because here you're doing the work. Um, you know that this, uh, something or somebody worth investing in is going to take time. And I think that with the three of wands, you're making plans, but you're not just making plans. You're going to take action and you're going to be open to see like if somebody comes into your life or comes into your energy, it, you want a person around that doesn't just talk about it, but they take action also. And the page of wands is somebody that I feel like takes action it's a person that has a zest for life, and I feel like that might be the energy that you guys need. I want to still pull cards for some reason. Yeah, you want somebody that's going to work with you. you. You need to see the effort put in. You no longer want to be in the Eight of Swords energy. You guys may have been dealing with somebody in the past where... Oof. You know, that came out right when I said somebody in the past and it makes me think now somebody's trying to manifest you when it's not happening because you already know that you don't want to go backwards. But you were dealing with somebody in the past that had you in the Eight of Swords energy because you just didn't know where you stood. You're confused, but it was because you stayed in a situation way too long. And you guys may have gone through a rebirth or you may be going through a rebirth right now. And you're figuring out what needs to be a priority for you. In your life, you're figuring out what needs to be a priority for you. You're finding balance. And that rebirth may have done it. The one and the three or four, four in tarot is stability. Which is the first card that came out? So I'm going to leave you there and just keep in mind if you guys have been really, really serious, you might need to get out and do something fun. Page of Wands makes me think of somebody that has a spark for life, does things that are fun. Do something that soothes your inner child. It's fun for your inner child. So Leo, that's what I have for you guys. I thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing. Don't forget to hit that like button. Love you. Bye.